Hey, what's going on, everybody? A special video today, the Generations Box from SlatersSportsCards.com. You guys have seen us open once a month the Big Fly Box from Slater Sports Cards. It's one of my favorite things to do every single month. We've had incredible pulls out of there all the time. This one's a little different. So the Generations Box is basically a combination of all of the products over at slatersportscards.com. So go check the website out. They basically take packs from the Retro Wax, the Millennium, and the Big Fly Box, put them into one box and call it the Generations Box, essentially because it's got older packs in here and newer packs. You'll see like Junk Wax era stuff all the way up to brand new Bowman, which is really cool. You can get kind of a, a wide variety of everything. Um, I think these boxes have about seven to ten packs in them, maybe. So should be a good little variety. And let's check this out. I'm excited to get into this. Um, I know when I looked at the list on here, there are some cards that I've never opened, like some packs that I've literally never even seen before. That's one of them right there. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, just a heads up, some of these packs as well are BBCE certified, which means Baseball Card Exchange. There's the empty box there. Let's see what we got. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs here, with, but two of them are jumbos. This is pretty cool. All right, so we have... That's... So this is 1983. Check this out. 1983 Don Russ. That's going to be uh, the Tony Gwynn, Ryan Sandberg, and Wade Boggs rookie year. That's a pretty sick pack. We might save that one more towards the end. Uh, is this 87? Yep. So 1987 Don Russ. These are all BBCE. So certified. So these came from sealed... Um, boxes. So 87 Don Russ. We have an 87, by the way, is Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin, Mark McGuire, Greg Maddox. Um, pretty good set there. 87 Tops, Cello Pack. We all know 87 Tops. We have 1989 Bowman. <clears throat> so that is a good one because that is chasing Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie card. So that's pretty cool. 89 Bowman. That's Randy Johnson, Smoltz, Biggio too as well. We have 1995 Bowman. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever opened a pack of 1995 Bowman, but that is rookie cards for Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Scott Rowland, who's in the Hall of Fame, and Andrew Jones. So that's pretty cool. 1992 Bowman, another one I don't think I've ever opened an actual sealed pack of. I've seen the cards before, but never opened a pack. 92 Bowman's Mariano Rivera, <clears throat> Mike Piazza, and Manny Ramirez. So pretty cool there. 1989 Fleer, Chase and Griffey, Randy Johnson, Smoltz, same guys. 89 Fleer. That's also, is 89 Fleer the uh, Billy Ripken? F face the bat. I might that might be that one as well. It's either 89 or 88. <clears throat> then we got these two jumbos. Look at this. 2022 Bowman Jumbo Hobby. That's awesome. That's we just did 2022 Bowman. Uh a whole blaster sealed case chasing Elio, Ellie Cheerio James Wood. So we know all about this set. We'll do that last. And 2022 Tops Series 2. I have no, I don't even know if I've seen these ones. I've not, definitely never opened them. I don't know if I've seen them. This is a jumbo hobby as well for 2002 Tops. Joe Maurer's rookie card is in Series 2. And plus, there's odds on here. Plus, you can, obviously, we can get parallels, autographs. This is going to be really fun. Let's start with the more Junk Wax era stuff. We will do... Let's do 89 Fleer first. Let's get ourselves a Griffey, shall we? When I got back into the hobby in 2020, 2021, um, I bought a ton of junk wax. <laughs> it was a huge mistake. I overpaid for a lot of it. But it was it was so much fun opening that stuff just to kind of get the nostalgia of back opening packs when I was a kid. It was a great time. 
Spike Owen, look at that. Greg Maddox. It's a nice one. It's not a rookie for Greg, but a very early Greg Maddox. Third year card. Sweet pull. Bill Wegman. Stu Clyburn. Brian Harper. Mike Balecki. Pat Sheridan. Dennis Rasmussen. Son. There's Chris Gwynn. Bob Brower. Tracy Jones. Frank White. Bruce Benedict. And we end with Jack Leiter's dad. Al Leiter. Is this, that's a third year for him? Yep. Not a rookie for Al Leiter, but I wonder if Jack Leiter is going to turn it around. I know he's been kind of a slow starter so far. All right, let's go to 87 tops. 69, nice. <laughs> 69 cents for a cello. I think this is called a cello fat pack for the 87 tops. <clears throat> See what we can get. Van Slyke, Pete O'Brien, Bob Brindley. There's Wally Backman, Howard Johnson, Joe Carter. There's the gum stuck to Jack Clark. No, I will not eat the gum. I would like to live to see my 40th birthday. Maury, Maury Wills. There's Phil Necro. Look how old. He, this picture of Phil Necro, all I can think of when I see how old he looks in that picture is uh, Major League. <laughs> that, that pitcher that pitches for them, how old he looks on the mound. That's all I can think of. Todd Worrell, cup card. Roberto Clemente, turn back the clock. All right. And that's all she wrote for 87. So no Barry Bonds or Mark McGuire. Those would be the big ones in that set. All right, next, let's chase some Griffey. 1989 Bowman. These are the ones, these cards are a little oversized, I believe. It's so hard to get Griffey in a Gem Mint 10. They didn't back then. I mean, I know I didn't have holders for these cards. So I put them in my thing, and they would just get destroyed. <laughs> they would all end up bent. All right, so the ruined card from the gum, thankfully, is not Griffey. We'll get to that. Hey, there's Ryan Sandberg. Card 290 in that set, Ryan Sandberg. A little, little bowing to that card, but nice pull. Jeff Kunkel. Uh, is that Tartable? Danny Tartable. Brad Duvall. Devon White. He, and Jeff, the one on, there's something stuck to him. That's the guy that got ruined by the old gum. Not sure who that is. What is this, Yogi? Yogi Bear, a little ad insert. <clears throat> Cal Daniels. There's Andy Van Slyke. Uh, is that Gary Templeton? Yeah, Gary Templeton. Here's a nice one, Kirby Puckett. That's a sweet card. Kirby Puckett. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. Larry McWilliams and Eric Plunk. Rounds out 89 Bowman. So no Griffey in that one. But that just means if you buy this, you'll have a better chance of getting the Griffey. That's the way I look at it. All right, let's go to 1987 Donruss. Let's see what we can get in here. Love these old wax packs. These are the best. All right, 87 is a very tough year for grading, obviously, with these Crazy black borders. Sweet set, though. Spike Owen, Dennis Powell. Look at that. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Not in bad shape, either. Just a little chipping up at the top. And we'll throw Wade on the stand. Sean Dunstan. Mike Sosha. Rookie card of B.J. Surhoff. I remember B.J. with uh, the Orioles. In the 90s, Ron Hassey, Brian Clutterbuck, Manny Trio, and another Hall of Famer, Tim Rock Reigns. Pretty cool card there. All right. 1992, Bowman. 
Again, in this one, we're looking for Mariano Rivera, Mike Piazza, and Manny Ramirez. We got a good one on the back. I did have these cards. I did not have any of the rookies, the good rookies, but I did. I do remember these cards. I did have these as a kid. Is there a gold in here? This must be. There must be one in every pack. Kyle Abbott. There's Alex Ochoa. I remember Ochoa a little bit, obviously. Julio Franco. Rick Wilkins. Aaron Seeley. I remember him a little bit. Bip Roberts. Butch Husky. Look how young Butch Husky is. Wow. Obviously, Butch was uh, drafted by my Mets. Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer. Tim Belcher. I remember Tim Belcher mainly because he was in the minor leagues one time, and I got his autograph at a minor league baseball game that I was attending. So some kind of a gold foil. Lance Johnson. Rich DeLucia. Dave Fleming. Cedeno, Carlos Garcia, and Hall of Famer, one of the GOATs, Tony Gwynn. Pretty cool Tony Gwynn. I've never seen that Tony Gwynn card before. All right. That does it for that one. Next up, let's do 95. So 1995 Bowman. Again, we're looking for Vladdy Sr., Scott Rowland, and Andrew Jones. Oh, yeah, I remember these already from the back. Opened a few packs of these, actually. I, I thought I didn't, but I, I definitely remember these now. A little glossy. Not sticking too bad, though. That's good. All right, Travis Fryman. There's Jay Buhner. I loved Jay Buhner as a kid. I, was a, uh, I followed the Mariners, obviously, because of Griffey. Dennis Eckersley. He's in the hall, right? Yeah, he's got to be in the hall. Um, Marcus Jansen, or Jensen. Brett Wagner for the Cardinals. Curtis Goodwin. Jim Pitsley for the Royals. I don't remember him. We have, oh, this is cool looking. Prime Prospect, Rod Henderson. That's a cool card. I don't remember Rod Henderson at all. But that's a really cool looking card. That would be, if you got a big name in that, uh, that would be probably pretty cool. Edgar Martinez, speaking of big names, great player. And Chris Widger, this is the Mariners pack. I remember Widger, but mainly with, I think it was the Expos back in the day. Could be wrong on that, but... All right, let's get into 1983 Donruss. I've never opened a sealed pack of this. I have very few 83 Donrusses. The only the only ones I ever got were from... Uh, I think the, there's, a, there's a mystery box that used to have these in them. I cannot remember the name of it. Um, I'm going to have to figure that out, though, because I might have to do one of those on the channel. But this is 83 Donruss. Never opened a pack of this. Ron Say, Greg Brock. These are in great shape. These cards are sharp. Danny Heap, Gaylord Perry. Speaking of guys who look like they're 3,000 years old. Gaylord Perry. I do not know what his rookie year was. <laughs> you know how I always flip over the Bowmans and I read the birth year? 1938 for Gaylord Perry. Uh, he's the one guy that can make me feel young these days. Woody Fryman. Here's a Diamond Kings, Fernando Valenzuela. That's a pretty cool Diamond Kings card. Alan Ashby. Roy John, another Diamond Kings. Bill Buckner. There's Mike Easler. Miguel Delone, 
Glenn Wilson, and Bobby Clark. So we didn't hit any of the big names, but look at how sharp these cards are. Crisp corners. They're actually not horrible centering either. I, I think this was a tough year with this border for centering, but these look great. All right. So nobody big in that one. Last two. These are more, mo well, one of them is more modern. We'll, we'll save Bowman for the end. 2002 Tops Series 2. I am going to be very interested to see what these even look like. Because, I again, I do not remember these. Um, but Joe Mauer's rookie card. This is a jumbo hobby pack. You, you never know what we could end up pulling in this thing. These cards are all over the place. Oh, boy. Okay, a little bit of gloss. Not too bad. Let's see what we got. Which way should I go? Looks like I should go this way. The way on the add inserts. What do we got here? Some kind of fake ticket. 1952 World Series. Some add insert. All right. They're sticking a little bit. Ryan Dempster. Rob Bell. I don't remember these at all. I definitely never opened these. I, I don't I don't own a single 2002 tops. Rod Barajas. Brandon Duckworth for the Phillies. Dave Varis. Let's look at the back of these. Pretty standard. Vernon Wells. Remember Vernon a little bit. Mike Matthews. Mike Saratka. We got Jeff Facero. Luis Rivas. Jared Washburn. Remember that name a little bit. Ramon Martinez. Matt Clement. There's Kelly Stinnett. Scott Spezio, remember Scott? Chuck Finley. Good pitcher for a long time. Decent pitcher, not, not great. Wendell McGee. What do we got here? Gold Glove Award winner, Eric Chavez. This one, thankfully, was not sticking at all. That's a cool card, too. Eric Chavez. Here's another one. That wasn't sticking. Roger Clemens, six-time Cy Young Award winner. There's him with the Yankees. I did not have a lot of Clemens cards with the Yankees. This one looks different. Um, oh, there we go. That's, that's numbered. So Seth Etherton for the Reds. You can see serial numbered on the back to 2002. So that's a gold. 1044 of 2002. Numbered card. So that's pretty cool. We got Brian Giles. <clears throat> Preston Wilson. Miguel Tejada. Barry Zito. Barry Zito is known for that huge 12 to 6 curveball. Lefty pitcher. It's an early Zito. Yeah, third year Zito. We have. Sterling Hitchcock, Steve Finley, Ben Sheets. I think he was a high end prospect for the Brewers. I thought he was, I think he was a number one pick that was kind of a higher end prospect. Andres Galarraga, I was a big fan of him when I was young. <clears throat> the mid 90s, he was just crushing home runs. Sean Green, Tioshi, Tioshi Shinjo, cup card, rookie cup card. There's J.D. Drew. <clears throat> El Duque, Orlando Hernandez for the Yankees. 
John Halama, Corey Lytle, Jose Vidro, there's Jason Kendall, he had a nice long career, Jeff Jenkins, and the last card is Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire, decent way to finish it there with the Cardinals. Quick story about J.D. Drew. Well, not, it's not about J.D. Drew, but J.D. Drew had a brother named, I think it was Stephen Drew, and one of my buddies uh, made the pros. He was, well, he was in AAA, and uh, he got traded for Stephen Drew. I just thought that was crazy. It was weird, him getting traded for a player that I had actually heard of. So, anyways, last pack. 2022 Bowman. Jumbo Hobby. This is a beast of a pack. This could have an absolute whale in it. Let's see what we got. We just saw all these cards, all these base. There's Newt Bar Rookie. O'Neill Cruz Rookie. Rookie of the Year Favorites is going to be To Catch a Predator. Yikes. <laughs> High Five Futures, Jordan Walker. Not a bad one. We do have color in the back, it looks like. Uh, Henry Davis, Top 100. And here are our Chromes. Diaz, Rodriguez, Jack Sawinski. That's not a bad one. Segesti and Leonard. So we struck out on the chromes. We will have a green in the back, though. Lennon Sosa first. Montero first. There's Dustin Harris. Let's see if we can end with a bang. Oh, I, I saw the Brewers helmet. Jeremy Vargas. So we did get one numbered card. 335 of 399 on the Jeremy Vargas first Bowman green. So as you can see, that was a lot of fun. Uh, those boxes are super interesting. You get a wide variety of... Of different years of cards and i didn't hit the big names so go check out slatersportscards.com go buy a generations box and maybe you'll hit the big names you'll hit the autos and some of the packs you'll hit some of the bigger rookie cards because i didn't get them here so that actually makes me happy because <laughs> i know a lot of people go on there they buy these boxes i want you guys to get the hits obviously so uh go check out slatersportscards.com um support jared over there he's a great guy he's got a great company i really like all of his products and uh, check out the Big Fly box as well as this box. If you want to keep seeing content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.